Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah Placencia and welcome to the Fix Your Form series. We're gonna go over another plank because you mastered the one we did yesterday. So today we're adding on. We're gonna be moving our hands forward and back. If you do have any wrist issues, you can always keep your wrist flat, but make sure you do this on carpet or on a squishy mat if you're gonna keep your wrist straight, okay? So let's get into position. Remember a plank. Start with your hands underneath your shoulders first, knees underneath your hips. Pull your abs in to remind you to start correctly, okay? And now push one leg back without moving your upper body and then pushing your other leg back, okay? Pull your abs in, perfect. Now I like to take my legs just a little bit wide for this so I have a better balance. You can always drop your knees with this. This is a hard move though. Try to do it with me though. Okay, we're gonna take one arm, right arm forward, reach a little bit in front of you, and then left, and then pull it back in. And then we switch to the other arm. Left, right, left, right. What? You can always do this on your knees, okay? But it's up to you to maintain that good form. I can't see you, but I know you know what I'm talking about, okay? Keeping your core tight, not dropping your hips, okay? You wanna stop when you feel it in your abs. Again, you're, if you drop, start from the beginning, Push one leg and then the other leg. You're in perfect plank position. Ready? One arm at a time. Set and go. Forward, forward, back, back. And then switch your arm. Other arm. There you go. Notice how my hips are not rocking side to side. They're staying in place. That means your obliques are working, the fronts of your abs are working, the top, the bottom, everything. Whew. You got slippery floor, just be careful not pushing yourself away. That happens when your butt goes up. A lot of times people say, the floor's too slipping. It's because they're pushing their butt up. So place those hands right underneath the shoulders and go up just a little bit, okay? Switch arms. Woo, what do we got? We've got like 15 seconds left. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Remember, head and spine neutral, abs in tight. This is how you get that six pack. Let's go. Almost there. Two more. And last one, forward, forward, back, back. Drop your knees. Oh, child's pose. Good work, you guys. And that is how to do a walk-up plank, forward, back. There's a few names to that. But anyway, that's how you do a little bit harder move for a plank. So, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.